If you guys hear any background noises, it's probably the construction site at the back of our house, so it stopped. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So finally, I am back after a very, very long break from YouTube. <laughs> First of all, I really want to thank you guys for your utmost support. Thank you so much for like two, more than 200 subscribers and for all the views that's gotten into my channel. Thank you so much. I literally appreciate each and every one of you who supports my channel. Also, I'm super sorry about my long break. It's basically probably mainly because a lot of things are going on right now. But also, one of the main problems is my editor, which as you all know is the Movie Maker. I think I've told a bunch of you guys from the comment section that I use Movie Maker and it just decided to break down on me. This video is really important to me, that's why I am carrying on with the Back to School Supplies haul because I can't leave that out. I just can't. For today, I'm going to be doing... wait, awkward. But for today, I'm going to be doing my Back to School Supply Haul 2017. Some of the stuff last year, I'm going to be reusing this year, so that's why I didn't get those stuff from last year. I'm really excited to make this video, so let's just get started. So to start this video off, I want to tell you guys that I didn't buy a new bag for this year because I plan to just use another, like a bag that we got for the past several years. And I think I might just reuse that. So I'm gonna show you the design so you guys can help me decide on which one I should take to school. So to start off, there's this design. You guys all know this design, I'm pretty sure. It's just like the XOXO bag that's like blue at the back. We got this just like plain purple and green one. So this bag is the one I used last year and I still think it's pretty cool so I'm thinking about using this again. And then this one which is the hot pink and teal bag. So the last bag is this one. This is just like a, a really dark blue and then there's like, do you see the design? They're like little trees I think. So I hope you guys can help me pick or decide which one I should bring back to school. So for most of the school supplies, we went to the department store to get the first half of the shop, not the first half, like the first 70% of the shopping. And then we went to Daiso to get just the stuff that we lacked. So the first thing from the department store stationery section, I got another expandable envelope. And no, this one's not from Axis, mainly because it was in the department store. I don't like the ones that has the handles, but if you feel like going for that, then just go. They didn't have any other color, which was pretty sad. This was my only option. Next, I got a clear book. And now if you're wondering why this is blue again, it's because I this had different colors, but I figured just like, why don't I get the same color and the same design since I got that one, so it would be matching. I don't even know what I'm thinking. The next one is this. It's basically a planner slash notebook for me. It's pink with like chevron. I really like what it says. And at the last page, you have the envelope, which I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with this. So this year, I got two different pencil cases. The one I bought and then the one was given to me by my sister. So this is the first one. This was given to me by my sister. This came from Singapore. The brand is Megal. It's kind of hollow. See that? Hollow. Let me open it up so I can show you. This is the first pocket and it has a bunch of little pencil holders. Then on the other side, there is a zipper right here. And then there's a little fold-out thing where you can put pens and stuff. The second one I got from the department store. What I'm going to be putting in here are the pens that I use regularly and correction tape. It says, good morning, I don't eat, but it's like the good is crossed out, so it's just like morning, I don't eat. I really like the lining because it's brown. We got pencils and these are the number two kind. I got the Elmer's Extra Strength Glue Stick. I got the 6 inch ruler. I got the Faber-Castell 
ball pen. I got these ones, I guess, for taking notes. I'm not really sure entirely why these. We have other gel pens that are colorless. They're all gel pens and they're like either pastel, pastel, neon, or glitter. But I don't really feel like I can bring this to school every day for taking notes. So I just thought to buy like a thing, like a set of like pens that I can use for notes every day. Next, I got a correction tape. It does say sound here. I, like, I don't know what that means. I just bought it because of the design. It's like pink right here. And there's like a deer. Like leaves right there. Next, I got an eraser. And these are the Mapid Precision Eraser. So yeah, I got, I got a bunch of pens from the department store. So these are all good. So for the boring ones, I just went with these Faber Castell Original Black. And then I got a red ball pen. I got these two multicolored pens. And... It's the pink one and the teal one. I really like these. And then I got these candy gel pens from there also. And I also got it in pink and in teal. They have like little pearls on them, which look like these are like iridescent pearls, which I think is super cute. They look like mermaid tears. If you guys watch Legend of the Blue Sea. These aren't from the department store for really crystals. So I got it in kind of like a pinkish purple color and a bluish teal. <laughs> Let's just call it blue and pink. Blue and pink. Lastly, for the last pen, I got another multicolored one, but this one has all of the colors of the rainbow. And this one's again from Smeggle. This one's like, this is the Smeggle sharpener. It looks like this and it's all like glittery and it's teal. You tilt this and you find like different sizes of holes. So now let's get on with the things that I got from Dyson. First up, we got a pack of permanent markers and we got these because there's a lot and we can definitely share. Next thing that we got from there are dry erase markers. And yeah, there's really no need to explain this. And then I got another pack of dry erase markers because these ones have erasers on the tip and also they come in different colors. I like these ones because you don't need to buy a separate eraser or you don't need to get tissues from everywhere because it already has a little eraser at the And then the last thing that we got from Daiso are highlighters. And we basically needed highlighters just because. Chocolate. I'm probably gonna use the pink one or the blue one. Pretty sure. Okay, might as well just show these. Two. We got six book wrappers, and these are the PVC book wrappers. Yeah, we just got six. Six. And if you guys were wondering, like a lot of you were asking me, don't I have notebooks? Well, I do have notebooks, but. The notebooks that we get, we get them from the school. The school provides them, but we have to pay for them. So we don't actually, we can pick our own notebooks, but I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And also, leave a comment down below on which bag I should bring to school this year. And also comment down below what kind of video you want me to film next because I'm definitely going to be trying to upload more videos and Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all your support. I really really appreciate everything so yeah